what, why are you celebrating how that you're not even logical you know <clears throat> it's definitely false positive because you've not seen your period and stuff telling my, i heard her telling my brother your sister says she's pregnant hey give me the phone who is telling you that who told you you're pregnant <laughs> hello guys welcome back again to my channel thank you for tuning in if you're new here you're most welcome my name is mabel and i am glad that you stopped by if you are a returning subscriber you know how i feel about you already thank you so much okay so i don't know if you've seen my previous video or previous videos where i announced my pregnancy and I, I, I shared how I, well, I found out, not like how I found out, how I found out, but I shared some clips from the day I found out. So if you've not seen those videos, please go see them and then come back to watch this one. Because this is like the story following up the videos, yeah? So I'm starting from the whole beginning. Those that know, you already know how I have been TTC for some years. TTC means trying to conceive. And then, yeah. I was not just expecting it like we just prayed about it and forgot about it literally forgot we just forgot about it and it happened so what happened was that okay so let me start from this part someone that i know that lives in the city where my parents live told me about a certain woman that prepares like um herbal medication for people that are trying to conceive and stuff depending on your case depending on what your situation is so i spoke with the woman and I, I agreed with her like i wouldn't just take anything you get you know how you're educated so you don't expect you don't just take anything but this particular woman was learned the kind of questions she asked were questions that doctors would ask me and stuff so she said she was going to prepare stuff for me and uh some things are blocking my period so i still told my mom to please help me go see the woman check out her place i just don't want any herbalist or any illiterate preparing stuff for me my mom went there my mom was like oh the woman is cool like she seems to know what she's doing so i was like okay i would like to try because the person that told me about it told me how she had helped a, um, a number of people i was like okay i'm going to try it so my mom the woman was supposed to prepare it on was supposed to hand it over to my mom on a sunday and then my mom was coming to Abuja on Monday. So I made up my mind that I was going to try this particular one because I've really given up on trying. I had really given up on trying different things. So the woman disappointed. So my mom did not come with it anymore. The particular thing she was preparing, she said it's called flusher. That it's going to flush my entire system and yeah, things that had been blocking the period from coming. It was going to flush everything out and my period was going to be regular again and stuff yeah so in nigeria they some people prepare herbs like that and they really some of them are really good you just have to be sure of what, of what you're taking so i was i was really feeling bad because i had made up my mind i'm not the kind of person that likes all the kind of things so i already made up my mind because i know it's going to be bitter it's going to be hot so i made up my mind to take it but when the woman disappointed i was like oh god mommy no i was really really angry but yeah my mom came, she was actually traveling somewhere else, but she passed Abuja. Then when she was coming back from, she was going to the north. When she was coming back, she passed Abuja again, you know. So I was with my mom. <laughs> my mom left on Friday. Okay, so before my mom came, let me tell you guys, my boobs were hurting me. Every single time, my boobs were just hurting me. You know, if you're a woman, you know how when your period wants to come or when you're trying to ovulate, you know how your boobs feel. My boobs were really hurting and it was going on for so long so i went to the hospital with my friend and then they were like maybe it's my period i was like no this is like maybe two weeks now they said okay maybe it's my ovulation meanwhile this is my friend i went with when she was pregnant her boobs were hurting her so i already knew that that's like a sign so i was already doing pregnancy tests and they were all negative so i was wondering why the boobs were still hurting i was now scared that i hope it's not cancer oh god forbid i was not really scared so when I got to the hospital, I was like, are you sure it's not cancer? They were like, no, if it's cancerous, it's not going to pain me. So the fact that it's hurting me, it's not cancerous. I should go and monitor it for another week. If it continues, then I should come back. That's what they told me, Sha. So I now realized, because I don't know, I was trying to figure out why my boobs were hurting me. Okay, it's not my ovulation. It's not my period. So what is it? Do you understand? It's not pregnancy. So what is it? 
So it now occurred to me that I had been doing like my pregnant, I had been doing pregnancy tests, but not with my very first urine. I had been like I used to forget, even if I have the test strips in the bathroom, but I forget. So after using myself in the morning, maybe around nine, ten, I'll not remember again. I'll not say, ah, then I'll not say, ah, it's still morning now. Do you understand? So I made up my mind the night my mom left, which was on Friday. I was like, I'm going to keep this trip on the WC so that when I wake up with my sleepy eye, I'm going to see it so I can remember to do the test. And well, I was not really hoping for anything. I just did the test. This was like 6 a.m. <laughs> I just did the test. I kept the strip somewhere. I was washing my hands. I was just sharp, busy. I was not just looking at it then. Because I'm already used to, I've done a million tests with the, you know, pee on the stick thing. So I was just, I'm always ready to just dispose of it because it's always negative. Always. So, and I wanted to just put it back inside the sachet. And then I, I was like, what? And I saw the second line, guys. I started shaking uncontrollably. I was shaking. I was shaking. I, was, I didn't want to wake my husband up because I did not want to give him hope. I wanted to be sure because the line was really faint. You guys already saw it from the previous video. Nobody, nobody could even see that line. You know, it was really, really, really faint. So I was shaking. I held myself because this was like the most unbelievable thing. Like how I held myself. I went to my my brother's room and just there crying and I, he just woke up and I was like what <laughs> my brother's name is Dot I was like Dot <laughs> he said what <laughs> hold me oh, my brother now hugged me so tight he was like what are you fine I was like Dot I'm pregnant he said are you serious how did you know and I was rolling this dress and cut the second line. Look at me. You know, held me. I was shaking. I was just shaking. You know, my brother is my friend, like, well, like this. So, you know, he just held me tight and I was crying. I was like, don't please, you have to follow me to the hospital right now. I have to go to a blood test. He now said, it's too early. This is six. Wait till eight. I said, I can't. How can I wait? I cannot wait. We have to go now. And I don't want my husband to know. He was like, what are we going to tell him? And I said, okay, since it's Saturday morning, let's tell him that we're going to work out. When I told him that we're going to work out in Jabi, are you coming? Are you coming with us? He was still sleeping, so he was like, no, he's not coming. So you saw everything. I was in the car, I was sweating, I was <laughs> all over. And then I got to the hospital. Let me tell you, that guy that was taking my blood, he had attitude problems. But see, what was doing me was beyond that, his attitude. I was so happy, so I was not even sending the guy. My brother was doing many, many stupid things. My brother was refusing to film me most of the time. He was just doing many things, but yeah, we got to the hospital and it was positive. So now, imagine if I had taken the medication, the herbal drug that they call flusher. So that's how I would have flushed my baby with the medication. So that means there was a reason why the woman disappointed. Is God not awesome? Hmm. <sighs> Guys, so the first thing I did was I called my parents. I'm very close to my parents. So I called my mom. My mom was on another call that morning. Another call. This was like to seven. She was on a call. I was like, who is she talking to this early morning? And then I called my dad. I was like, daddy... Um, where's mommy? Put your phone on speaker. He was not like, she's on, a, she was, she's on another call. I was like, tell her to end the call. She should end the call right now. I want to tell you guys something. My dad became scared. You remember how last year, every time somebody had news of death, death, death in our family. So my dad was scared, like super scared. Like, what happened? What has happened? Are you okay? I was like, daddy, just tell mommy to end the call. Put it on speaker. And the phone went off for some reason. So I called back. My mother already ended the call. By the time I called back, my elder brother was calling my mom that early. So my dad now said, you're calling me. Your brother is calling your mother. <laughs> my elder brother even had no idea. <laughs> he was in Lagos. Your brother is calling your mother. What has happened? Tell me, daddy, calm down. Just listen to me. He said, no, just tell me what happened. Oh, the daddy, calm down. Is your phone on speaker? Yes. Yeah. So my mother was like, my mother told my brother to hold on. 
<laughs> and then and I was saying, Daddy, I'm pregnant. My father said, What? My mother said, Give me the phone. My, 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 mom, my mom was not telling my I heard her telling my brother, Your sister said she's pregnant. Hey, give me the phone. Who is telling you that? Who told you you're pregnant? <laughs> I was like, Who will tell me the phone? She said, it's a lie. I just left this day. Are you sure? Who told you? Don't, and I said, I'm, I'm in the hospital. She said, you've done your test. And my parents started singing, dancing. My dad, you know, of course, they were crying, tearing up and stuff. I just, I was just laughing. My brother was with me. I was just laughing. I was like, please, you should not call my husband. Oh, ah, don't call my husband. He doesn't even know. I'm going to tell him. So don't call him out of excitement. So when I got home, I told my brother to go tell my husband to come downstairs. I want to see him. <laughs> well, my brother was supposed to film this part, but he wasn't filming it. Well, even if he wasn't filming it, no, my husband is not expressive. So there was no, yes, oh, there was nothing like that. My husband came down and I handed him the results. He was just looking at it. Then he looked at me. He looked at it. He looked at me. Held me, kissed me on my forehead. Like I was like, oh my god, baby, so unbelievable. He was like, I know, right? There was no, uh, there was no action. So when my brother was not even filming, when I found out, I was not even angry because my husband was not. My husband is not an expressive person. So that was the beginning. No, this, this was on a Saturday. Trust me, that day I was happy. I was crying. I cried all through. If I just remember, hey. So much joy when you are just overjoyed the next thing to do is what cry i cried i was dancing i was grateful happy God, ah, my parents my mother-in-law and of course the first thing they always tell you is, don't tell anybody my mother-in-law said don't even tell your best friend <laughs> me that i told my best friend her she said don't tell your best friend I was like, ah, me, I can't hold it. So ah, I want to tell the whole world. I want to tell everybody on YouTube. I want to tell the whole world. Hey, like, so, hmm. The next morning, no, I was not happy. I was preparing for church. I was like, I'm going to church today. I'm going to dance. Da, 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 you know? So, I don't know what just happened to me. After having my bath, one voice just told me that. Why are you celebrating? How that you're not even logical, you know? <clears throat> it's definitely false positive because you've not seen your period and stuff. Why are you thinking you're really pregnant? Do you know? And you know your hormones are all over the place, so it's definitely a hormonal thing that is just messing you up. I just became sad. All the joy I felt died. I became sad. My husband came out of the bathroom. I was sad. He was like, What happened? I was like, I want to go and do a scan. I need to use my eyes to see this baby. If I don't see this baby with my eye, because I don't. And I went to Google it. Is it possible to have a false positive result? Definitely. The answer was yes. So I was like, it's false positive. You know, he was like, how can you be saying that? I don't allow God to be angry with you. I said, but I was just sad. My husband had to talk me into being happy again, talked me and told me that God be very angry with me. I should stop it and stuff. I said, okay, but. Just take me to the clinic this morning. Let me just go do a scan. Let me just see this baby. If I don't see this baby, then I will not be happy. My body, my mind will not rest. He was like, okay, let's come back from church first. We came back from church. My husband was like, leave it now. Like, you know, everybody, my mom was like, I should chill. That It's still too early. Maybe they will not even see it in the hospital. But my body did not rest. The next day, ah, my friend, we live in the same estate, so she came. I told her my friend I wish I filmed all my friends reactions I just wish I would have just shared with you guys like I told her I always tell them don't scream before I share this news but the end up my friend screamed she yes yeah, not my friend that I took you guys to her daughter's school she cried she screamed Did you get so I was like I, I don't know I want to go and see the baby Man, this is a long story. Am I sure I should give you guys this story? It's too long. This is 14 minutes. Ah. It's a long, it's interesting, but it's very long. Ah. Okay, so I went to the clinic. So immediately the doctor saw me. He was like, Why are you anxious? I was like this. Anybody, anytime you see me, I'm like this. Like I just want to see the child kind of thing. So he was like, Why are you anxious? It's all over you. What happened? 
And I said, nothing. He said, what can I do for you? I said, I'm pregnant. He checked my record, my history in that hospital. So he knew that I was trying, he saw everything, but he was now like, are you sure? Have you done a test? I said, yes. He said, and it was positive. I said, yes. He said, how? When was your last period again? Because I can see, he saw the date. I was like, yeah. He now said, okay, that now he knows why I'm anxious. So he wrote that he should attend to me urgently. So when I got to the place, they checked, they did like an abdominal scan. He was not showing the child. So I was like, oh my God, this thing is not even real. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, they now, I also, I was not, okay, the doctor asked them to do um, transvaginal scan. So they told me, they confided in me, the ladies there, they were like, if they do transvaginal, it's going to be the same result. And my money is going to waste. I paid 8,000 naira for that. So they were like, what they can do for me is that I can come back two weeks time with my, that's in, with the card I used to pay, like my payment receipt, I can come back with it and they're going to do the scan again in two weeks. But if I insist on them doing transvaginal today, then my money is gone. I cannot come back in two weeks time and they're going to get the same result. They won't see the child. I said, I'm going to die. I can two weeks. I cannot, I was not begging them, I was begging. And now, let me tell you, one of the ladies there, it was the lady that did HSG for me. HSG is a very painful procedure where they insert one thing, one thing and put ink and pass it through your tubes to check if your tubes are open or not. So the, the pain I went through when I did that HSG, let me tell you guys, see, anywhere I see the lady that did that procedure, I used to harass her anywhere I see her. So she knows, so she was, um, she was like, in that room with someone else so i kept begging her that please now just check just check but if you don't see it i want to come back again with the money she was like no she can't do that then I, when i was not begging her she saw i was really serious she now said ah, before you go and harass me anyway you see me again and say i'm the one that no help you oh yeah lie down <laughs> i was so happy i laid down they did the transvagina you know so one tiny see I think I was just three weeks old. Tiny baby. It was not even a baby yet. <laughs> and I saw it, me and my friend were shouting. Like, I was so, I was crazy. I was happy. I was like, yes, 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 it's true. It's real. That was, that was not fair, Sha. The fact that I allowed, I allowed something to tell me it was not real. But yeah, I'm just human. I'm just human. It was so unbelievable you get so that was it too i spent like two weeks always crying always joyful and then i was not like i don't even have any sign i was telling my mom that ah, i need to have signs now let me know that i'm pregnant because i was i'm just fine as soon as i said that i became sick <laughs> i think i have some clips i'm going to do another video this is already long i have some clips of when i was I'm going to do a video of how sick I was and everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. Drop a comment if you have anything to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. If I, if I forget anything, I'm going to tell you guys in the next one. Um, stay safe, okay? I'm going to see you next time. I love you. Do not forget.